come to order. And oh, here, here comes look Jill. At this. We have so two. not going to try to come to oh, order yet. Yes. Oh, Here's wow. a spot right here. <laughs> oh, no, I have to be you. I know. Oh, but, you know, I kept see, seeing this little uh, polycom thing here for you. <laughs> star. I am a, a star. real person. You're a real person. You're not just a polycom star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's a good car dealer. No. Okay, I think everybody's had a chance to sign or is signing. So, welcome everybody. Larry in Santa Cruz, poor Larry. <laughs> Karen, do you want to go ahead with the minutes, please? Uh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm getting organized you know, here. You know. <laughs> Okay, the Superior Historical Commission meeting minutes, July 20th. Meeting was called to order by Chairperson Larry Dorsey. In attendance were commission members, Mary Cartwright, Larry Dorsey, Katie Olson, Jill Roberts on the phone, Errol Wallagorski and Karen Wallagorski. Staff, Brian Meyer and Karen Snortland. Town Board Liaison, Rita Dozell and others. Maureen Hogue, Mike Hogue and Dalton Vallette. Vallette. At the beginning of the meeting, Dalton Vallette was introduced to the group. He will be running for the Town Board of Trustees in November. The minutes of the May 18, 2018 meeting were read. Mary Cartwright moved they be approved. Katie Olson seconded the motion and the motion carried. The treasurer's reports were given as follows. Brian Meyer reported that the fire truck account currently has a balance of $417.50. Brian reported that there is $4,401.97 remaining in the 2018 Historic Preservation Account. Debriefings were discussed as follows. There was a good turnout at the museum openings of June 2nd and July 7th. Larry Dorsey attended the Boulder Heritage Roundtable meetings on June 21st and July 19th. Following the closing of the museum on June 2nd, several people attended a picnic in Asti Park for Denzel Ackland, who was visiting here from Oklahoma. A great time was had by all. Neighbors Make the Difference Day was held on May 23rd and volunteers from Key Equipment Finance planted new bushes and flowers in beds, refreshed the mulch in the flower beds, in the flower beds and around the museum, and repainted the jail cell. No one attended the ANFRAM meeting on June 18th at the Museum of Boulder. Mary Cartwright, Karen Wallagorski, and Lindsay Flewelling rode in the back of the fire truck for the 4th of July parade, throwing candy out along the way. We met several visitors to our booth in the park that day. Larry, Mary, and David attended the service for Ted Asty. It was moved by Larry Dorsey and seconded by Katie Olson that Maureen Hogue will move forward to add superior history to the town's web page. She and Karen Snortland will work together to make it happen. Karen Snortland led a discussion on establishing members of the cemetery working group and then planning a first meeting. Larry, Mary, Wally, and Karen volunteered to be part of this group. There will also be members from OSAC and CAPS. Karen's S will be coordinating the first meeting, which will include people from the February CPI conference, specializing in historic cemeteries. <clears throat> Katie is working on the layout of the historic photos to be on display at the sports table. She will coordinate this with Heather Craycraft, Superior Chamber of Commerce. They will also explore other locations for photos, for example, hotel lobbies. They are watching out for which photos have specific ownership by individuals. The cataloging, filing, and donation screening committee composed of Larry, Mary, and Alan plans to meet at the end of July. There was no news reported on the oral history video QR project. Karen reported that a thank you note was sent to key equipment finance for their volunteer work during Neighbors Make the Difference Day. A card for the Asti family from the commission was taken to the memorial service for Ted Asti. Karen also brought up, brought a get well card for Bob Morgan to the meeting for all to sign. 
A thank you note is needed for people who donated to the commission in Ted's memory. Larry re reviewed the one estimate we have for the reprinting of the Law Superior book, $19 each for 250 books and $14 each for 500 books. It was moved by Larry and seconded by Mary that we proceed to put $9,000 in the 2019 budget for the printing of 500 books and 1,000 copies of the map. Karen S. will contact the Lafayette Fire Department to coordinate with them to set a date for the town to take our fire truck there for a photo shoot. The long-term planning priorities will be addressed at the next meeting that Lindsay attends. Brian distributed a handout on the 2018 budget projects update listing, uh, <clears throat> listing those accomplished and those yet to be done. Rita proposed that a plaque be placed at the start of the walk into the industrial mine area. Mary suggested that a given number of plaques could be done each year with Boulder County for the entire area. Under other old business, Larry announced that Alan Jarrett was named Chamber of Commerce Volunteer of the Year for her exhibits in the museum. Wally brought up the issue of the road to the cemetery, commenting that it could potentially be part of the Anderson property plan. Mary brought up the suggestion that our fire truck be a part of the Louisville Labor Day Parade. Brian will look into this. Okay, under new business, staffing for the August 4th museum opening was discussed. There will be a Boulder Heritage Roundtable meeting on August 16th at the Boulder Public Library. The next ANFRAM meeting will be an ice cream social August 20th at the Commerce City Historical Society. Larry announced that we have received one donation in memory of Ted Asty. Larry has contacted the schools regarding the second grade field trip since there are now different teachers in some of the schools. He has heard back from El, El Dorado K-8 thus far. Brian announced that there is a recommendation that a plaque be placed on the mine cart in front of the town hall as a memorial to George Kupner. Mary Cartwright put this in the form of a motion and Wally Wallagorski seconded the motion. Brian suggested that this recommendation be made by a commission member at the August 13th board meeting. <clears throat> Under other new business, Larry stated that he has been contacted by a family who had a farm on Coal Creek many years ago. He has also been contacted by the mother of a young girl who has visited the museum a few times and really likes the desk there. She would like to visit the museum for her birthday party. Last, there was a discussion about having a volunteer to catalog some of the items in the museum basement. Well, I move that the meeting be adjourned at 11.40 and Mary seconded the motion. Our next meeting will be August 17th. Thank you, Kim. Any additions or corrections? Or? I have a correction. When um, we were talking about the road to the cemetery, uh -huh. that wasn't the Anderson property, but the Toll Brothers proposal that would be oh, where it okay. would be part of. So uh, you said that. Uh, okay, how do you spell their, the, the brother's name? Toll, T-O-L-L, brother. Oh, Toll. The toll, the Toll housing. Oh, okay. So it wouldn't be the Anderson, it would have been the Toll brother. So it, it was on the back side here where you talk about a road to the cemetery. I think Wally, uh, Wally talked about it, I think. Or, yeah. Wally, okay. is it there? Yeah. Instead of the Anderson plan, it's the Toll brothers. Yeah, but it, you, you know, how did you get that screwed up? And I was here too, so how could I allow that? If you did say it, but. I was <laughs> thinking we were talking the Anderson. Wasn't yeah. that the presentation that they did when they were talking about the thoroughfare going from Coal Creek? In? It probably was, but it, it has. It's not next to the cemetery, so the actual road to the oh. cemetery would be part of the okay. the proposed. The others. Yeah, the, the other, other one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because the Anderson isn't even close. Okay. The, you know, the Anderson wouldn't be properties is not where the road would be. Okay. Thank decided you. or discussed. Okay. Any other additions or corrections? Can we have a motion that the minutes be accepted as amended? Um, still a second. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.
you know, I'd like to make a comment on the people that were, uh, Larry took over to look where their ranch was. Danny Kuffner was down there at our museum meeting and he filled them in on all kinds of information. Mm -hmm. And uh, they did find it and they were very well pleased with it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's an item of. Yeah, we actually it's have on the agenda. Because oh. it was that <laughs> special. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. We can cross it off now. Yeah, okay. Skip that one. <laughs> okay, have a I guess I should be. Oh, no. Okay. Treasures report. Yeah, there's general ideas. All right, the uh, current balance in the stored fire truck account is $467.50. Fifty or sixty? Uh, fifty. Okay, thank you. And the current balance in the historic preservation account is still remains at four thousand four hundred one dollars and ninety seven cents. Okay. Question: Do we have anything lined up? Um, yeah. yeah, we're working. On, I think uh, typically most contractor board. schedules free up a little bit more after the, okay. after the summer. So. Okay. Um, in the fall, I know. Some minor stuff has gotten done, like the porch board. And, right, um, yeah. That's gotten done in the, in the screen, but uh, larger scale projects, we don't have anything quite yet set right. up. So we so. need to think of it quite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, <laughs> as the but, year goes on. Yeah, the fall okay. typically, yeah, is a little bit, um, like I said, their schedules free up a little bit, a little okay. bit more. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask a question about the budget, the town's budget for next year? We're going to. We'll start talking about it now in September. We have two meetings planned. So uh, I guess, Brian, do you have any plans to ask for any additional monies other than the regular amount that the Historical Commission receives? Yeah, I know. Um, well, I put that request in to Patrick for the $9,000 for the uh, printing of the Law Superior books. Um, I'm not 100% sure on uh, additional monies for uh, cemetery restoration. Um, I guess a lot of that depends on what gets done this year yet. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, I I don't know. I don't think the group has discussed anything else or anything formally. So okay, because um, now would be the time if we had anything that yeah. we needed. So what it's usually is the budget? What usually goes in? Is it the exact same amount? Well, yeah, it's been that. Um, I don't want to assume 5000 for next year, but I think um, these last couple of years it's been, Allison, you could probably, I think it's that historic preservation, each committee has had uh, $5,000, so I think that'll, it's safe to assume that that'll be approved um, for 19 as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, then if we don't spend the 50000 for the, all of the 50000 for the cemetery, then we'll just have to, Ask that it be forward yeah. moved mm -hmm. into next year's budget. Yeah, you know, just retain it. Don't let it go. Yeah, yeah. we'll keep Patrick uh, um, aware of what's going on with that as well. Obviously, so okay. Yeah. Okay. Any questions for him? Okay. Old business debriefing the museum opening on the fourth, which. Uh, uh, as Wally referred to, and Larry wanted us to be sure to know that that was really all through my junk emails here. <coughs> uh, Larry said Danny Kay and, and the sisters, meaning um, Catherine and her sister, were at the museum for the August opening. Danny came twice. He came once with them, and he came back and stopped with us for a while, too. Um, the sisters stopped and visited a long time. They went out to the, the site of the property. Now, it's my understanding Danny went with them. Do you know? No. He didn't? No. He just came along At least along not later. that I'm aware of. Okay. <coughs> and he came along later to talk to them about what he knew about the family and or the property as it had it passed out of their family by then. But uh, He was a wealth of information. Yeah. He knew a ton about that. Yeah. So it was... Yeah. So should have been recording him. We <laughs> should have, but we didn't even know he was going to be there talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. so that that was good. Um, Boulder Heritage Roundtable, since um, Larry's in Santa Cruz, I expect he didn't go yesterday. Uh, we had several interested people coming to the museum, including Avery and her babysitter, who... Larry quick 
brought the desk back up because it had gone down to the basement. So he like, brought it back. Oh dear. <laughs> she, she had actually brought a little notebook, sat in there, and was drawing pictures and just was so at home in that desk. It's just fun to see. Huh. Well, you better so, get her a desk like that for her birthday. That's, that's what they're hoping. Okay. Well, yeah. That would be good. They're, you should be able to find Are they on a calendar here for now? Mm -hmm. So, anything else with the opening? Okay, cataloging, filing update. Alan had the onerous job of trying to train me on past perfect a couple weeks ago, so mm -hmm. we will continue with that as time goes on. It's uh, challenging. Um, the oral history video project. I have an update. Good. You said you were here, and she's got an update. <laughs> yes. Two for two. Yeah. Um, so I talked with a swim team friend who does videography for his profession and said, would you be willing to make three to five vignette type videos that we can load to our website and have the QR codes for? And he's like, it's not usually the type of thing I do, but I'm willing to look at it and see how we put it together. Um, we're meeting on the 21st of September. We're meeting, it's in the late day, late in the day, so it will be after we meet that day. Um, I'm going to show him the recordings you made, Lindsay, at the historic walk with Bob. I've got on my phone Den's, both, recordings of both Denzel and Bob just telling stories over the last couple of years. Um, some of them are video, some of them are audio. Uh, and then I've got the disc of pictures, Brian, that you gave me. Um, so I'm going to show him those. Prior to my seeing him on the 21st, we have at least one of the second grade field trips uh -huh. where we are lacking any scripting or what we would say is Grasso Park. Mm -hmm. So whoever, mm -hmm. Wally does his jail cell, et cetera, et cetera, does the Grasso Park, make notes and kind of script it or just hit record on your phone. So we've got just the basic content of what we might want on there. That's more than you read on a sign and then personal. Mm -hmm. uh, because what we'd like to do is have those recordings and the stories with pictures near the locations from long ago and then end by saying, you know, if you go to the west X number of miles to this intersection, you get to the old mine site. Mm -hmm. If you go here, you get to the house, mm -hmm. right? And do some of those. Um, so I'll be running him through those on the 21st. And is he going to do that for free? I don't know that. <laughs> okay, you guys I don't know yet. He is a superior resident, yeah. right? Um, we, and he was he was curious about it. Right. Um, you know, or is it something that he can teach us, one of us how to do? I mean, you know, it's, it's I think, more than we could do on, you know, on iMovie, right? Mm -hmm. right? which will give us a better quality on playback. So I don't know if that answer. Yeah, that. and I'm not saying it should yeah. be. Just no, but, yep. but if it's a charge, is it one a year for the next three years? Mm -hmm. right? I, I yeah. don't know, or is it in time to get it in a budget cycle? And yeah. It would probably yeah. at least be worth a thank you like that we do for um, who comes to the spring program, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so, yeah. but, but thank you. Yeah. Well, what is his that. name? His name is Dave Dugdale. Oh, Dave yeah. Dugdale? <laughs> yeah, just he's like done, he's done like Dale. a time lapse video, yeah. filling the North Pole. Yeah, he, and, yeah, he, he did. Yeah, he did that. That was for yeah. the Flyers video. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. done the drone work over at, over our meets, and um, yeah, he took over all of our photography stuff and is working with with my husband oh, when okay. Danikins left Flyers. So, and sitting there on the Fourth of July, I was like, you know, there's a good idea. <laughs> he could do this far better. Mm -hmm. Now the other thing is that the Lucasville Library, there's all kinds of uh, the space maker. What is it called? Something you know where they have all kinds of cameras and yeah, okay. and all kinds of fancy yeah. equipment to do some of this mm -hmm. splicing and dicing and all this. So you know, keep that in mind too. Yeah. If there's if, if even if he doesn't have all the equipment he needs, or oh, this is his job. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is his profession. There's a lot He's of self professional yeah. stuff at so, uh, Louisville. So I don't, yeah, I'll keep that in like mind too. Maker space. Maker space. Maker That's space. what it is. Yeah. Space makers is just as logical. <laughs> so. Maker space. Yeah, making something is space. Yeah, space. yeah right. So. Yeah. It's but probably the, better than the key space is makers. on the 21st if someone can be hitting record as we're going around. 
don't worry about kids in the background for now. I'm just trying to show him the things we do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and have available. And how do we? How would we port that? Because what started as pictures being set to music with a few annotations, mm -hmm. the idea grew when we were at one of the the planning sessions, the evening yeah. planning sessions, and so. Hmm. And I think we could always go over, right? We could still always schedule that, but you just yeah. want to get a little. I just want to be able to show him some like examples, exactly, of the, the types of things. Sure. I mean, I, I think it would be far quicker than when you have 30 second graders around, yeah. right? Um, and Lindsay recorded the Bob doing the whole mind walk That's a couple awesome. years ago for us. So we've got that on a, a thumb drive. Um, we put all the pictures from Lost Superior on a thumb drive. Uh, so we, we actually gotten a pretty good collection. I've got Bob talking about ice skating on, on a lake. Mm -hmm. I, we went for a walk. We went to look at something. And he's telling me about delivering on his paper route as mm -hmm. we walked through town. <laughs> um, Denzel's telling me about the brickwork on the house and how they did it originally and then how it was redone when it was moved and just random things. Mm -hmm. But they kind of give a nice comparison. Mm -hmm. So cross your fingers. Yeah, thank you. That sounds great. Karen, any new correspondence? Okay. Um, the card that everybody signed at the last meeting, we got the Get Well card to Bob Morgan. And then a thank you note was sent to the people that donated to the commission in Ted Asty's memory. And that's all. Does anyone know of any correspondence that's needed? Like you have a month off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So far. No cards to buy, no. Thank you. Cemetery Working Group. Now Karen had sent out Karen S had sent out an email that the first meeting will be next Thursday at one o'clock. Right. Yeah, I know she had some challenge with like uh, getting um, I know not necessarily everyone can attend, but um, Anyone who is available from the working group uh, next Thursday at one. Um, Karen and Wally, I know, unfortunately, it sounds like you guys aren't going to be available. But yeah, that's the only time all week that we're not available. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, we've been up there. Yeah, months. so we'll, she'll make sure to keep you guys uh, in the loop. But I know she's working with a, um, in addition to a couple individuals from the Historic Cemetery Association, she's also been in touch with um, a landscape design company. Uh, to, uh, to meet on site as well next Thursday. So, um, and she's going to be bringing drawing the latest drawing or uh, drawings of kind of long term what that site's going to look like up there with uh, was it Park Three, Allison? Uh, I think that's going to be up there. Yeah. So, um, who's going from here? I am. I I have it on my calendar to go. Right. And then I think Dulcy, who's not on the committee, but she wants to be. Yes, yeah. She's coming, I think, too, as far as I know. And is Larry? Uh, Estelle Cole? Uh, Larry, I think, will be back, won't he? I think Larry, yeah, will, I think he'll Larry be there. will be back, be yeah. Um, so, it's, yeah, I think, I know she's worked hard to try to get everybody available that day, but, you know, uh, it sounds like most people will be, be available on th that Thursday, so. Um, I think just start the plan, that's good. You know, yeah. get them be at first meeting and start putting together the plan of what you yeah. need to do. So yeah, I'm sure we'll have a pretty good update for the September meeting on that. So, yeah. You're on again, reprinting the Lost uh, Prayer book. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, I put a recommendation in with uh, Patrick um, on behalf of the Historic Commission for the $9,000 uh, request to be for nine thousand dollars for the September or for the two thousand I'm sorry, two thousand nineteen budget. Um, and as Rita mentioned there'll be discussions with the town board on the, the budget yet. So um, yeah so what, it is what's the fiscal year? Do you run nine thirty to nine thirty or is it calendar? Allison you can put calendar. Calendar, calendar yeah it's calendar yeah. yeah. We we go through the budget discussion for twenty nineteen right. now in September. Right. And then uh, by, I can't remember what the date is, but usually in October or early November, we actually approve the expenditure funds for the next year. So it's calendar year. 
so yeah, I'm pretty. Con- I mean, I'm, in chatting with Patrick, I'm fairly confident that you know, hopefully that will um, get put in there. But it, it, there is a, a place marker for it. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, historic photos at the sports table. Katie. Sure. Um, I I only brought three copies of this, so I don't know. There's a copy or close, or if you guys just want to pass a few around. Um, sorry that I brought three. Um, so I met with Karen, and then we did this kind of draft photo or draft flyer, sent it to Heather, and she her feedback was, um, well, they both said that it would be awesome to be able to have it for the Chili Fest. Um, to be able to pass it around to the booth, all the different booths and businesses there. Um, she, Heather, said that she, we should probably stick with the higher price ranges and then put any extra donation towards something that the commission is working on. Um, so we just kind of put prices in there, you know, uh, so we could change that and. What else? So, yeah, the flyer's not clear on the ask. Is the ask that you're looking for people to sponsor a photo? Yeah, so I definitely want all of your feedback yeah. on what does this look like. This is me like mocking this up in like a half hour. Yeah, okay. So, yes. Yeah, it, it, like it, when you look at it, yeah, you guys can please the information put on it. information is great, except I'm not sure what I'm being asked what you're to doing. do. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me where, where I should, what changes what and where and or we can can you see the fire station? So is this photo collage there or you mocked it up? That's one we did there somewhere else. Three. So That's where you did somewhere yeah. else. So you're, what you're trying to do is create something like this in the sports table and ask people to Sponsor put their it. sponsorship yeah. under each of the photos. Yeah. So I could also just do a photo of like I could drop the a superior photo into a framed piece Mm -hmm. you know and kind of have that be front and center i'm not real sure you know i'm not real sure so i definitely need yeah like i think you need the ask at the top and the pricing at the bottom and then in the middle what it looks like but but the ask is you're looking for sponsors yeah yeah to pay for or to, to sponsor the photo that will be at the sports to, table yes mm -hmm. and then additionally wouldn't we say and if you want it in your business or if you want it in your business couldn't they yeah. buy a photo and put in their business sure yeah, th th that would be the other thing is that I might want to buy it like Dixon Orthodontics or something might want to buy their mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. and and put it in their business. orthodontic business sure. rather than over at the sports table. Sure. So that could be two ways of businesses participating, both buying it and having their name on it at the sports table or the other one is buying it and putting it in their own business. Yeah. Right? Yes, I think if I put both of those things on the flyer, it might get. I think you, I think we lose the town but community I think that, aspect. Okay. I think I being think able that can to say be a verbal yeah. that we start. Communicating or you just with put at the bottom that says individual photos also available for purchase. Please yeah. contact and but I would not make it. You, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good. Way I mean, to do it. that's a good suggestion, Jill. I think that's you, good. you got you got me for ten seconds, and I'm either gonna go mm -hmm. look at at my husband and go, do we put the law offices of Daniel W. Roberts on a sign? Yeah, and he's going to say yes or no. You know, depending on if he's had one beer or three at the we'll give him three, right? <laughs> right? Or at the, the so chili fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but you you got that thirty seconds to read it. So you think at the top it should say sponsor yeah. a, a photo? What do you want me to sponsor say? a photo? Catcher, yeah. Catchier yeah. than sponsors wanted, but mm -hmm. no. I mean, it's, if you think of it that way, it's almost like an old time jail sign, right? Mm -hmm. Wanted and. Yeah. sponsors for this and oh that's a good idea yeah make it you know kind okay. of make an old time the old jail yeah you know and or as a wanted but what what do you what action do you want me to take you want me to write a check yeah yeah, right. yeah. okay um and yeah, then that's a good idea. yeah tell me where to do where to send okay, okay. do well, i drop maybe it I'll down do or some do more I... revisions and yeah. send it by email yeah. and you guys can give me more feedback um you guys, Heather didn't, I mean, Heather did not think those prices looked I don't think like prices she, are, she actually no. said, just don't even do the lower ones. 
Um, does that seem, do, do these things seem outrageous? Um, no. No. Does it? Uh, no. I personally, I would do round numbers. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't do okay. 395 or 150. I mean, yeah. Um, but I would do, say, you know, four to five, you know, like three to five, so four to five hundred dollars, and then thousand dollars or more receive a, you know, whatever. Right. Or even if you want to do for your business, yeah. like you said, round numbers: two hundred, yeah. three fifty, five hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you're done. Right. You know, or Not the like range that. or anything. Yeah, no it's range. just hard because there's different sizes. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna like offer people. There's gonna be like a collage of different sizes. So it was kind of like, well, we have to come up with. Mm -hmm. Well, if a, someone gives, you can put a little note at the bottom. If size may depend. Yeah, see, I think I think the sizes are good. No, no, I'm it, saying that it might yeah. cost more. You oh. know, given up the, you know, they're But like I can just framing. not do the range. Because she's talking do, about the framing yeah. might cost more, more yes. than the, what you put down. Yes, you're a tier three member if you give 500 or more. You're a tier one yeah. if you give, you know, right. 50 to 200. And you're right. a tier two. If, mm -hmm. um, I would also come up with something like whenever you sponsor at a charity function, right, you're going to get a gold, silver, bronze or you know, mm -hmm. antique, you know, I don't know what words you'd use, but. <laughs> you, you get know. a piece of coal or you get a gold nugget? Yeah, it, it, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you a miner, are you a. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. get the, do you get yeah. the piece of coal? You're a burrow. Yeah, yeah. Are you a, well, the burrows had more value than the miners. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, people right. might not have kept that. <laughs> right, exactly. Okay, so I'll do some edits yeah. on it and, um, and see. Yeah. Yeah, I think not, not even get too carried away about what what your call. Just buy a picture of this size, or you get, and this is much, and you get your name there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think, that, yeah, okay. And then if you want individual pictures, can be purchased at the bottom. Is good sure. because mm -hmm. I think some people might want to put in their own business rather than put it in the sports table. I think the sports table should pay for all of those pictures themselves. <laughs> And then I then I wonder, um, and then obviously, Art Source is going to try and discount it good, so that we are. I mean, of course, I'm always thinking about this that we're making money. <laughs> we're not making money. This is a historic commission. Uh, that we are. We're breaking. Not even. losing money. We're breaking. Yeah, even. and hopefully getting some extra money to help with these different things. If we say cemetery, I mean, obviously it's not going to be a cemetery, but yeah. um, you know, no. Uh, if we want, what, there needs to be a disclaimer on here that says if excess funds are received, you know, any excess funds over the cost of printing or the framing or whatever will be redirected to the historic commission fund for use in areas such as. You've got to disclose where you're giving. Sort of like if you give to the school when you think they're doing a computer drive and you give money for that and they go spend it on PE equipment, it's not, it, 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 it borders on unethical. So yeah. you've got to be able to say. Yeah. Any, well, it's a yeah, donation excess. though. Yeah, it's a donation. But, but, but then you need to be, it's a donation, but any excess funds, mm -hmm. because if you think you're getting this and you find out there are 10 pictures, we may do 10 huge pictures, right? Oh no, I mean, if they yeah. pay that, they get that yeah. size. But if the framing comes out less, the framing will only come out less because yeah. we're going to right. not because they we're going to charge because we're which gonna is put great some money right good into. problem to have yeah. yeah but if we have excess we just need to we just need yeah. to stay you know it goes to the town fire truck account right right it, you know or some everything. real direct mm -hmm. but i would put it out there okay. you know it, you know do, you know excess donations will be contributed to right okay okay yeah thanks katie mm -hmm forward to September's report because we want the hotel too to buy some pictures and put up in their sure. place that would be great you know and not just contribute to this but to buy their own picture big honking picture and put it up on their wall mm -hmm. Mur Muriel Muriel <laughs> okay. so I'm gonna be self-serving for a minute but we need a small plaque or frame or some probably frames you can change it that has a nice printout of the house and lists the hours and where to get information. Is it Maureen's doing all this work on the website? We want the website listed. We want the house hours. You mean over at the sports table? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So people see it there That's and know to get there. That is a great right? idea. So you want the website, you want the house, and like when the museum's open. Information about us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
yeah. and how to donate. Yeah. yeah. I was curious too. Like it says it had you have plaques for your businesses, but if the commission doesn't have anything like you guys did this, this is mm -hmm. hosted right. by. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. You know. Well, and that's why so if you we'll just do, do one of the house, right? A little framed, a little framed thing, right, mm -hmm. with the info mm -hmm. provided by you know uh -huh. or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good ideas. Excellent suggestion, too. Mr. Meyer. Uh, yeah, so the uh, photo shoot with the Lafayette Fire Department, um, Karen and I have reached out to Jerry Morrell with uh, Lafayette um, and trying to coordinate a good time with them. That'll work for us bringing the fire truck up there. And the date that was decided on is next Thursday morning at 9.30. Um, uh, Matt Rarick can drive it up there and I'll follow with him. Um, we'll bring the truck up there and do that photo shoot. Now I know Thursday, <laughs> again, that's, I didn't know how, if this is something that you really want to be at or want to attend. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment, so I can't, I can't be there. Well, I know, I guess what I'm saying is if, you, if you, if you want, want to us to um, choose a different date because you want to be there. Oh, for the, yes, I would like to be there. You would yes. like to be there, okay. Um, I, what about next Tuesday? Um, that's I think that's another potential date that may work. I, I don't know. Yeah, this Tuesday. coming Tuesday. Uh, or Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday following. Um, this coming Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. would work for me. That would work. Okay. Yep. So let me let me look at that because I, I heard Thursday. I'm thinking I know you were, you guys want to be available. So, um, but regardless, um, we're getting all lined up and we'll we'll get the photo shoot mm -hmm. shoot mm -hmm. done and see kind of how that looks. So. And I had gotten pictures from the Lafayette, this one, the Miners Museum, a while ago of the, of the fire truck, like historically there. So hopefully, then we can just make like a collage or something with different mm -hmm. pictures of it and the yeah. playmats and stuff like that, too. Yeah. Yeah, the reason I'd like to be there is because way back when we talked about it, they thought there was a possibility they had some stuff from the fire truck. Oh, yeah. So oh, I yeah. want to make sure I jog their memories and either yay or nay you know mm -hmm. yes we have it no we don't but. okay all right well i'll be in touch with them and then you guys as well so and there again with some of our funds if they do say do you say have a ladder or something wouldn't mm -hmm. would it be appropriate if, if they do to say oh thanks and, and from one historical commission to another and give them a little bit as a thank you I know it was between two towns, so that can get stickier, but. Yeah, I think that would be, an, I think that could potentially be an option. Allison, do you see any, any issue with that at all? I mean, I don't think. I don't think there's an issue. I don't think, yeah. But you could also think of a, something interesting, like historical, like one of our, one of the pictures, or print out one of the pictures or something that we take, you know, that's that they're taking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, offer. I mean, see what they ask for. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, they volunteered this stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I know. We'll see how that's what it is. Them, yeah. You know, when they're open, we can bring them plate of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see, how, we'll see how it goes when we're on site there with yeah, how okay. the conversation goes. Cool, yeah. Though. Keep you guys in the loop. So. Yeah, thank you. Second grade of fuel trips, I think we still. We have the 14th of September and the 28th, and Larry's uh, yet to confirm the 5th of October. Uh, and also... And the 28th or the 21st? 28th. The 21st will be the... Yes, the 14th. Got it. And also, um, after the last field trip, which might be the 5th, um, Mayor Colson has offered to take us to lunch for the last field trip. So put that in your okay. in your diary whenever that last field trip is. What's the hours again? Just a reminder. Like mm. when do you have to get there? And we usually have to get there about nine. The kids come about nine thirty usually. Okay. They're sort of done about eleven thirty. Okay. Ish. So. It's really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've Should we do signups right now, or are we going to do that online? Oh, uh, 
It depends on a Bob. That's right. We have. Uh, let's see. What did Larry say? I think he's going to. Yeah, we do it probably the better do the 14th. Yeah, yeah we yeah. probably have. Thank you. And the 28th. So let's do that right now. Who, who as of now, thinks that they're available on the 14th? I can help on the 14th. Okay. I cannot on the 28th, so I'm in for the 14th. Okay. <coughs> okay. Linda, I work any? every Friday, so. Yeah, yeah. We're, we appreciate you being here today. Mm -hmm. Jill, any chance? Okay. I've blocked it. Question and I will mark. fill in wherever I can if it works. Okay. Wallace? Yeah. I think you're the secretary. Awesome. We're available, I think. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Are you available? Uh, yes, I'm sure. I didn't even have a calendar. <laughs> yeah. It's got Karen. Yeah, that's a calendar. <laughs> Record keeping. Mm -hmm. Can't do it without Wally. It keeps me out of trouble if I let her answer. Yeah. And I, I should be available. And probably, as far as I know, Larry is too. So. It gets weird in the age. So that would give us five for sure, and it's really best to have yes. three, three at the house, wouldn't you think? One outside and two inside. Yeah. And then two over at the park. Yes, we definitely need two at the park. Yeah. So and well, we I could do Larry two at the house. You could do two at the house, one outside, and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard though because you've got to watch those kids. So, yeah. so That's we're true. sort of sort of it's co covered, but minimally. Right now, now Rita, what about you? Actually, I'll I'll, I'll uh, see if I can make them. Uh, question mark. Okay. Yeah, I'm a question mark, but if I'm okay. available, I'll come to it. Larry was know. talking about Walt might be able to come. Yes, he also. did. That's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, on, on some of those. Okay. Yes, yeah. so that's good. Walt, Walt, Walt Mike, for your, he was a former commission member who's moved to Littleton a few months ago, but he's he's helped with the field trips before, so very enthusiastically. So that, that's good off with you. So it looks like we're covered, but nobody gets the clue or anything. <laughs> All right. And then the guys want we'll to see. Sorry. Um, are you guys planning to have the fire truck at Grasso? Or I don't know if you did last year or not. Do you? Yeah. Oh, at Grasso? Or oh, you mean at oh, the museum? At the museum. I'm sorry. Yeah, at the museum. Yeah. yeah. At the museum, yeah. Um, I don't know I how we're, want. I don't know if we totally discussed that with all that's going on. Uh, if we would have time that's for... That's my issue. Uh, yeah. I don't think we have time. Yeah, yeah, it's it's or they don't, have, have, they have, they time. don't have time, really? Yeah. No. Right? I mean, it's kind of like if they are distracted by the fire truck, truck. then when yeah. you kind of need time for that. Either yeah. we so need to they, build that in or... Yeah. But don't a lot well, of the schools, and I'm saying a lot, want two of them, usually go to the park. park. We have talked about that. For lunch. But then someone needs to man the yeah, fire truck Yeah, someone needs to man lunch. It. But it would still be an opportunity to show it off yeah well they have only so much time yeah, yeah. yeah the problem is we have 20 minutes and yeah. it's usually 10 minutes in the in Asti Park and 10 minutes in the museum and then they switch yeah no I meant after they were done between town hall the park and the museum they uh, go to they go up to what it's the park founders? across founders founders, founders thank founders, you across yeah. from Target Right, as you man it and park it there. I guess it while could be a question lunch. for the teachers, uh -huh. right? Is that uh -huh. even a distraction? Like, is that, or do they yeah. just want them? Do they have 20 minutes to eat, and that's it too? I think so they're on a short period of time. Maybe we here. can see. And that. we absolutely have to have we somebody. Have to have a man. Yeah. We have to have a man wherever it is, and right. I, keep, I think keep. for this particular thing, it might be too much. Too much. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, and at one time we were talking about having the barn open down in in the park down here, you know, and it, it it gets to be, there's so much to do, you just don't have time to. Isn't that a good problem to have? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, 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 re I really yeah. think, in my opinion, that we should not have the fire truck. Yeah, I, Only I think because And I think I, we don't want to take away from these children learning about the history of Superior. Well, the fire truck is involved, but it's, but it's like a newer, I think it's really special for them to learn. Well, that's the very history. true, but mm -hmm. we just, if we don't have the time, we don't have yeah, the, exactly. man, the yeah. coverage, we can't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the barn is ready if you have time in the barn. What's that? At Grasso Park, the barn is ready, according to Brian. Mm -hmm. 
At least so they have the doors open. open. The door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let them and look wasps in. don't come flying out. But we almost <laughs> should have somebody there, probably, that they don't go in, not because, only because that takes more time, and it, then we have to cut something else shorter. So, you know, we can all, we're, we're spread pretty thin. Yeah, we are spread thin. You know, all of our parks guys do a walkthrough and spray and whatnot before. Yeah. And did you see my, yeah, my email? Yeah, the they've bus. already, yeah, they've already the sprayed okay. out the Great. museum, yeah. Great. I'll be down there probably the day before getting the stuff out to get the jail ready, so I'll make an inspection, an, an additional inspection and uh, spray for any wasps if necessary. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Here we go. It's a big few weeks and coming up. Uh, and from ice cream social, I haven't had any information on it. Has anyone else? This is coming Monday. Does it sound like? No. Yeah. So I just got that off their schedule. Right. <coughs> okay. Brian, once again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of apologize for kind of how this has evolved, um, or has evolved a little bit since the last meeting. Um, so Patrick has been in touch with communication with George Leo Kuffner and um, the latest is it's looking like um, we'll probably do a plaque or I'm sorry a bench um, in between the two baseball fields at Community Park or a bench at Kuffner Field so that's kind of where it's at right now um, but not a minecart plaque so I, I apologize for that but um, it's kind of there's been some stuff behind the scene that I wasn't privy to or whatnot but I know Patrick's in touch with George and Leo, and that's um, kind of the latest on that. So it's looking like a bench at the two baseball fields. So I'll let, I'll keep you guys in the loop on that. Okay. So thank you. Yep. Okay, Lindsay, long-term planning. Um, well, I didn't have a printer, so I can't print out my own planning list. Um, I guess with that, the whole list, it might be nice to first think about things that would possibly get done like with the rest of this year versus next year. If we're already thinking about um, budgeting issues and stuff like that. Um. I'm not sure. This was from July 20th. Um. Yeah, so I don't know if that's week. the latest. Yeah, definitely. I mean, because I wasn't there, so that was just yeah. handed out. Like that. Sure, thank you. Um, so yeah, with this, I just wanted to like hit, for each site, I thought it'd be useful to um, do like a prioritization, um, like what can be done now versus what um, we might think about in the future. Do people have copies of this? Home. Anyone? Okay. I mean, I think coffee's really quick. Cool. So. Yeah, I think if we're really going to do this, people probably need coffees. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Sure. And, and Allison, while you're copying that, shall we go on, on to item 13? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so fire truck, uh, Louisville Labor Day Parade. So I chatted with Patrick about this. Um, unfortunately, so, you know, we don't have town staff available on the third as it's a town holiday. Um, so kind of where we're at is working with um, kind of the parameters of, you know, who can drive the fire truck during parades and events. Um, uh, the town manager has reached out to uh, Rocky Mountain uh, Fire Department to see if someone's available with them uh, from their department to drive the truck on the third. Uh, so I'm waiting to hear back on that. Um, obviously with the timeline, uh, uh, next Friday is the deadline to submit an application, which I would do. Um, with Louisville to submit the truck in the parade, so the 23rd is a deadline. But I should know any uh, within the next couple of days if someone with um, Rocky Mountain Fire can drive the truck. So having said that, assuming that they can, um, I would imagine you guys want to discuss if anyone's available on the third. If that's something you guys still want to do and kind of move forward with that, if anyone's available on the third to ride in the back of the truck. So um, how do people feel? That's kind of where we're at with. That. So. I know that was one of our main 
things for wanting to get the fire truck out and about was to get it out and about. So it's the, the third, third, and I'm sure the lineup you do like a fairly early lineup. Uh, probably, but throw the, candy. Yeah, but the can't. Yeah, mm -hmm. but pretty easy because we're just you just sit in the back <laughs> and wave, throw, right? And it's not candy. too hard. Except for the stress of running out at the end and then everybody <laughs> yelling at you. <laughs> Do, you, do we know how long their parade is? You know, I, I don't. Where it goes um, and so forth? It goes all the way down Main, right? From yeah. Starts drive. at 10 a.m. Starts, starts at, at 10. Oh, well, it starts at the middle school. Um, and really, I think it probably just goes yeah, down. Yeah, it's, it's shorter than Superior. Oh, it's oh it is. On oh. the middle school, on the other end, north end of Main. Yeah, and, and then probably just goes end. down to the very... And yeah, then, and turns oh, around down and to the park, to probably, at the other end. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, sorry, so check-ins at 8.30, a uh, lineup is near Louisville Middle School and surrounding streets, and the parade starts at 10. So, uh, <coughs> uh, that's kind of the... People interested? If, if I, I'd be available, driver. I'd be available. Okay. If we, got, if we had a yeah. driver, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of either, what, it depends on what everyone else wants to do. Yeah. Um, I could go with yeah, my okay. son or something, I don't know. Yeah. Any, any, well, we might be. Okay. Yeah. And it's a great opportunity too. I mean, we could even make a little quarter fly. Up. We could, we could make it really amazing. Or this first year, we could see just, how it goes. We could drive in, it, right? Yeah. But you could pass have people passing out little flyers talking about the museum. You know, I don't know. Thank you. Because our museum is better, I think, than theirs. <laughs> yeah. We'll put that on the flyers. Yeah. <laughs> <than theirs. laughs> Of course, they have a better Main Street than we do. Reality show. They have a so I would be available depending on how everyone. But that is how I'm feeling. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. And if I was here, I would do it. But I'm not. But you're right. Okay. So I'm doing? working. Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. And I can do it. Okay. And uh, you know, we never know. But David, maybe. Question. You can only really fit like four, four. people max on mm -hmm. there. Yes. Anyway. Probably one in the in the um, yeah, basic cab probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, what I'll do is I imagine um, I'll hear back fairly soon if there is someone who can drive it, and then I'll just email the whole group um, okay. with details on that. So. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Okay, and so we'll just sort of wait, and if we can, yeah. those of us who can, will we'll show up, and, um, and if we can't, can show, I'd be in charge of buying candy to be sure we actually have some. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can get, I'll get the candy. That's How did we run out of candy last time? Whose fault is that? Well, there was no someone candy could, in July. Did I someone throw July, too much candy oh, at the beginning? Oh, yeah, the 4th of July. Oh, yeah, I threw candy. candy. Oh, you didn't throw it. We did it post-Halloween. We could have 96 boxes. Oh, good. <laughs> you this is very important. Post-Halloween, we, collect we collected like almost 100 boxes last year. So. From people <laughs> who, yeah, yeah, didn't need to, yeah. just didn't need it, yeah. Does it expire? <laughs> well, it's gone. It, no. They don't, they don't need it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hate to bring this up, but is it a definite no that Larry or Wally could not drive it in the parade? Well, um, yeah, so I, I understand. I'll chat with Patrick about this. So if you remember um, when uh, Larry and Wally approached the board a while back, um, yeah. kind of like what came from that was um, town staff would still drive it in the parade, which has been the case, but you get, but um, like so Walt, Larry, and Wally could drive it to and from the museum um, and whatnot uh, on the museum opening. Yeah, so, I remember all that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that so I'm just kind of for the group of the background on that. Uh -huh. So okay. certainly, um, if um, Larry or Wally wants to approach the board again with um, requesting further permission, I mean that. Um, in chatting with Patrick, that's kind of what I think. Um, you know. Yeah, could, I'm could just be done. So it just seems. Um, we have somebody from Rocky Mountain Fire Department driving it rather than our historical bunch. Yeah. <laughs> Except yeah. they're paid. They're a paid employee of somewhere. Not yeah. of us, and though. That, that Not of the town of Superior. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that, that yeah. might right. be. What but that, that's not a problem. I, I kind of have a different sense of how that went that night. I mean, I was there, reported on this, and, and uh, I think it's ridiculous that you can't the, that can't you can't drive it, Wally or Larry, because that was the whole point. There are not staff members available on holidays. 
So yeah. that's why we yeah. did this. Yeah. Well, it wasn't yeah. always just about the parades, though. It was about driving it to and from the museum, which has been amazing, really, really nice. Right. But in so. addition to that, mm -hmm. it was also we can't have it in any other parades or any mm -hmm. other events because there's never staff members available except for our, our Fourth of July, and then we almost have to, you know, you have to make sure that you have somebody available. So I mm -hmm. think my recollection is a little bit different than that. We had said that we would do it, but I know there was discussion about parades and all this, but we're covered through our insurance for them to drive it, them being the people that have been trained to drive, like you and Larry. So I think we should go back and ask that question again, not of the board, but of staff, just to okay. make sure, because you're not available. It seems odd to me that we go to another governmental agency, Rocky Mountain Fire, to drive it when we have trained people ready and licensed and insured to drive it. Okay, yeah, we can, um, I'll certainly, yeah, we'll chat with town manager. Yeah. Um, certainly, yeah, this is kind of, you know, um, above me, but yeah, um, I'll certainly have Patrick chat with him about it, so. And if it's a requirement that a staff person yeah. needs to drive it, then somebody needs to show up that day. Yeah. Okay. And take another day off the following week. <laughs> and I do like this was this one was a little we were a little behind on it and <clears throat> but going forward I agree if they say no then that's okay but these are our we also need to be intentional about saying okay in 2019 we have three dates mm -hmm. of three parades I mean we're telling them three weeks and you know that's all I mean it is well, they knew about this long before this. About talked, the Labor Day parade? Yeah, we talked about it even when we got them to agree when we, at the board meeting yeah. months ago when we got the approval finally to have them put on the insurance plan. And, right. and um, Sandy Hammerly, who works for, is financial manager for the Arvada Food Bank in Arvada, she has volunteers driving trucks all the time because that's where they get their, a lot of their food from. Sure, but said, through a parade with children on the streets, I mean, it is. I'm just saying, it is kind of scary. Like, I personally, I do not want to be driving that thing in no, a parade. But it's, that's why we had people that were. I know it's just scary. It's scary. I mean, I I would understand that it's. It seems it's just kind of a scary thing. Okay, in a parade. so you you think that somebody on staff that drives occasionally is just as qualified and safer than like Larry Dorsey who you know has driven it many more times perhaps I'm just saying that yeah you know, I it's would kind say of six it's of one half billion of the other yeah I don't know yeah, yeah. I would say but it's I the, li the liability yeah. of it too I personally would say awesome someone else drive yeah. we'll throw the candy this is scary there are children that come out it's an old truck <laughs> I, I just I that's why we we said people have to be yeah. trained and uh, and and named as yeah. who's going to be driving it. I hear you. Not okay. just anybody that comes off the street. So okay, that's well, the other thing you. about so, Rocky Mountain Fire. You um, know, they've never driven it. So, so Brian's so. going. Well, they obviously would if they. But you're you're going to. <clears throat> for sure. Yeah. To I will. See. Yeah. So we'll we'll see. And it could be that maybe for this year they have to say. <coughs> Maybe not, but then we can, as we have more, <laughs> a longer track record before next year, say, that we could approach it sooner, push yeah. the point. But I definitely agree it is hard that if the rule is there, then someone does need to be available. I think we all agree on that, right? If if they can't, then we, yeah, if we if can't they, get a no. It's hard to get a no from it right. if we really can't. If these guys can't drive and it needs to be a staff person, then the staff person needs to be available. Yeah. And they can take other time off this other <coughs> time. Well, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, good. Back to long term planning. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> We're all right. We don't have much in the new business. Okay. okay. So I think just, I'm not sure, since we talked about this so long ago, like what's actually already been done maintenance wise versus like what we still need to do in the future and then thinking about longer term projects, but it seems like the museum building stuff is all things that are fairly short term issues. And then things like museum displays and rethinking like how it's laid out in the interior would be a longer term thing. So what have we already done on the museum? Brian, you can answer. We, Window the back, screen. The back porch is done. <clears throat> 
back porch is down there. needs a, um, a coat of paint on that new floorboard. Um, front porch uh, should hopefully get done this fall. Or it should be. I'm confident on that. Um, the screw eyes is just closing them, and that is important, right? Yeah. So that the wasp, um, every, <coughs> almost wasps. every um, <coughs> three that I saw, you know, wasps had got, gotten in. The uh, uh, wood is sort of rot rotted right. out, so the uh, screw eyes on the building are actually not holding because it's, what, it's more than just hooking it up again. Right. So, it's actually yeah. kind of re yeah. working yeah. it. Okay. But that's. You've, you've done Hang some on. checking on that, haven't you? Well, yeah, if not, I mean, our parks hasn't been out there. I know they put in a window screen above the stairwell, but as far as checking the um, the eyes on the window screens, I, I'm, I'm not positive, but I can have them do that. Okay, because so. probably when they sprayed for the walls, they found some inside the screen <clears throat> in the front. Yeah, the I, would I would imagine the so, yeah. They, yeah. They're like... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll be, I'll be in touch with So that's something yeah. to work on this fall too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This stuff will get knocked out in the fall for sure. Um, schedule's have free up a little bit. Repaint front and back porch you just talked about. <laughs> will yeah. that be, I don't know, we just repainted it. <laughs> well, no, yeah, the, uh, the back porch doesn't need repainted. Oh, okay. um, the front porch, I think that'll be part of some of the work done on that. Yeah. So. But yeah, the back porch, the porch, I think, is looking fine. The hand pump's been prepared. At least I saw a boy doing like this, so I think it is. <laughs> oh, really? And Danny Kefner repainted it oh. himself. <laughs> Maintenance on the front door. I can't really speak to that. Alarm system? Is that something we had talked? Well, we talked about the how the alarm system, it? yeah, it just covers the basement, right? Or did you? Did, I can't remember what we decided. It was you had checked up on it, and I don't remember what that. Yeah, was. Uh, that's all been solved, I thought. Yeah. 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 Nope. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it was our brain. Yeah. yeah. I think on the front door. Go back to that front door, I th and I don't know if that's been corrected or not, but that doorknob on there. That thing slides around so much, and if it's, it could drop down below the opening, and in the winter time, especially if there's wind is blowing, there's a lot of cold air can come in there. Mm -hmm. I thought they were going to look at that, and maybe they have. I, I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not saying we want to get rid of that antique knob on there. I'm just maybe yeah. something needs to be done to okay. fix that. Um. Yeah, without having Larry here too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, on those um, ones. On those ones, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I'll duly noted, Wally. Well, it seems like everything here can be done this fall without. It's not like a big expense yeah. or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I feel like the museum building is really important <laughs> as far as like prioritizing where we're putting our energy and stuff. Or the towns that are <laughs> and then so for doing all the maintenance on that this fall maybe think about the interior more like throughout the year next year like how it's all um, how the usable space is taken up yeah you know i've all i've um I, I think what I wrote on my notes and you kind of transferred to how to show house as part of a living community. Maybe that was my my note. I don't know. I um I I just when I first joined the commission and I saw the museum, I kind of was like, is this a living is it a living museum or is it a um it's kind of a mix. It's mm -hmm. which is fine, but it needs to kind of be like, do we want, I remember we had the um, vacuum and I was like, why is there a vacuum here? <laughs> well, it's an old vacuum, you know, but it's kind of like, we need to be really clear with our spaces about what's the, the most important things to show people from that time and not just kind of like collect random things from the 20s, 30s, 40s that would have been in a house 
um, or like have parts of the house be like that. It's just we have such small space, so it's like, so like the kitchen is kind of like a kitchen would have been, right? But then you kind of move in. So I, don't, I just would love to continue to think through the spaces and. Um, You're popular. As you say, it's 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 both because we want right. to show it that, but it, but it is the only display space we have, so we have to sort of yeah, and just do be real. I think just be like real intentional about what we have in there. Um, and I've talked about the quilt that quilt wall from a perspective of someone that sees I because I work in retail in a very tight area where we're always trying to, to make the most of it. That quilt wall, that quilt takes up an incredible amount of space that could be used for more displays. And I'm not saying get rid of it forever, but it could be something that we, it's a really, when, if someone walks into that space and they say, what, what, um, what could we use something better for, you know? And I'm not saying it's not important, I know it's important, it, it's hard because it's very large. So what? But just kind of thinking through the rooms, would and saying this is our room, our school room, right? Or and we kind of do that. But that would just be a long-term thing. Would be analyzing a little bit more the space and how are we using the space, and um, what's the best use of it. I'm almost wondering if we could have like a subcommittee. Is that what Larry calls it? Some time to just sit down and maybe meet over there and go through and yeah. itemize things and say, you know, what could we do well, better? Yeah. What yeah. could we do fresh? Because honestly, I've never thought about it before, yeah. but it, it, it's kind of like the bedroom and the kitchen are are very living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, there's and different I think we, we get a lot of things to those on to that, right? discuss how people lived in them yeah. Yeah. better too. So. Yeah. The but is there a way to? bridge that and say, because you've got so much space in the big room that that's a rotating display room. Yeah. And you use the back room as a rotating living space, mm -hmm. whether it be what a school room might have had, whether it be, um, I don't know what, the, the sitting room with the record player out, right? Again, a treasure that we have, Yeah. but they get rotated. Right. You know, and you almost do a every, call it every five month rotation because it's kind of odd seasons and it keeps it moving mm -hmm. through that one room and then you do displays that yeah. are, are feature okay. those treasures. But yeah, is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so I think that'd be great like in the early spring to do a walk or late fall to do a walk through and mm -hmm. talk about ideas. Think and about like the maybe like quarters next mm -hmm. year or something. Mm -hmm. yes. so, and then yes. I'm hoping we can still get together the influenza epidemic display for yes. this mm -hmm. fall this and then year. yeah um, and then we can think about what to do for yeah. next year. And I think to be realistic we all at least we were moving in the right direction that we were doing these exhibits once a month. Which is and that's so it's so hard well I think it's um, aggressive yeah it's <laughs> but aggressive at least we had a goal well, yeah right? but it's aggressive on people to get there yeah and it's aggressive on people to keep it fresh to do it yeah, yeah. and also so I think if we do me a who's quarter, taken two years on quarter, history, right yeah may I say <laughs> if you get five visitors we think hey we've had a lot of visitors that's a lot of work put in for five, five visitors. visitors yeah and so you I, I think we need to keep them up at least three months mm -hmm. and then yeah, maybe maybe you get 20 25 visitors maybe mm -hmm. so yeah yeah I don't and think i do need think we, we no. need to continue we're really on the right track now of changing changing things in there but my other you know long-term planning goal would be to get more visitors and to get maybe more members or more volunteers and I think if we want to encourage people to visit more than once a year we need it to be fresh which we're headed that way but it needs to be fresh um, and so yeah yeah and if we could do like a yearly ice cream social or whatever um, that'd be really nice too at the museum yeah and it just takes Saturday a lot of um, take that on work to do these displays. You know, yeah. I've done a few. Alan 
um, Lindsay, it's just hard work to get that stuff together. So the idea of having it every quarter is okay. And I think if we just at the beginning of the year say um, the display is due March, you know, February 20th. Like, and then like, if we really just say that, then that's how my brain works. Yeah, we can really start working on it. And then, but then it's a, we, this is what we're doing. And, um, and then we'll know for like flyers and things for the rest of the year and yeah. have actual dates that are accurate and stuff yes. like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you know, then one other thing that was mine on here was the Eldorado Marshall um, items. This is a big, big long-term planning thing but who's housing Eldo and Marshall's historic collection? You know, they are really our neighbor and they're kind of a part of our the history down the road. They don't have a museum um, and probably most of their collection is going to Boulder. You know, like who's, get, people would maybe think, let's bring this to, to Boulder, to Carnegie, but that is a part of our history and they're right there, you know, so. Um, being kind of the collector and keeper of that area's history. Uh. Okay, yeah, I think so all these things would be something to think about either like late this year or start thinking about it early next year too. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I guess let's talk about ASCII Park and then we want to just like go over other things at the next meeting. Does that work? Mm -hmm. So other than heirloom plants, I think stands out to me as something that we could potentially do like for next year and then everything else is kind of a long-term wish list kind of thing. <clears throat> um, because Rita had said that originally with the master plan, they had tried to plant the heirloom plants that were mm. would have mm -hmm. been in that area and then that's kind of faded away over time. I think the stronger plants have taken over. So so maybe again, before planting time in the spring, we could, um, you know, give some recommendations and uh, approach the, you know, pay for some new, new plantings to go out or something. Gosh, do they have gardens, like corn? <laughs> they have a little garden. I mean, Enzel's mom won the guard flower contest. She did. That's she cool. Yeah. And there's a picture of him and Jenny in front of it. Yeah. The year she won. How is he doing? I haven't. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we haven't heard in the last week or so. They're giving a very few weeks to live. When we get a chance to very few. address that, I talked to Bob this morning. Yes, for yes that's probably be, our, our. I'd be happy to cover that once we. Good. Get Thank you. I'm glad we have an update. Yeah. Thanks, Molly. If we do get the heirloom plants, and it'd be cool to have that picture like on mm -hmm. the website with a little description mm -hmm. of the plants and things like that. Yeah. <clears throat> to show that we're actually thinking about all the different elements that go in there. Okay, that seems good for now, and I'll like um, reorder things, and I'll just take these with me and then bring them to the next meeting so that we actually have a list. Thank you. Thank you. That seemed pretty productive. So. <laughs> okay, any other in so old business? In I'm going on new business staffing September 1st. <clears throat> Mine's a question mark. I can't. Okay. I can't. Okay. <laughs> what about quality? I'm guessing we'll be there. Yeah. Or I will be there for sure. Okay. Well, like here, will be there. And I would assume Larry, because I think, I'm not sure when he leaves, but I don't think he'll have left yet for his next trip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boulder Heritage Roundtable. That'll be up to Larry won't be at that either, because he'll be on the Danube or whatever. <laughs> uh, well, somebody has to do it. <laughs> Uh, and Fram training meeting. Again, I just got that off their schedule. Okay. Yeah. Probably Larry will have some information and he can pass it to us. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Please. What does AMFRAM stand for? Um, Association of Northern Front Range Museums. Oh. 
Boy. So it's like Fort Lupton, Loveland, us, Boulder, uh, Boulder Arvada, down to Castle the Heritage Rock. Center. Yeah, all along the Front Range. Yeah, and even up, there's a couple it's of members yeah. up in Wyoming. Thank you. Okay, Avery's birthday party. Now, Larry basically agreed to host this at the museum. Uh, Avery wants it after school on August 29th from 4 to 6. Um, Larry had the question, should we charge or ask a donation or something like that? Let's see what else he said. Yeah. So they're thinking about actually having the birthday party in the museum? Well, I think um, their eating would be outside. They, they'd come and sort of have almost like the second grade tour, I think, inside. Oh, okay. and How old is she? She'll be six, I think. Yeah. I was just wondering if they were actually going to have the party with cake and ice cream and stuff mm, in the no, museum. No, we wouldn't have that. No. And I was going to say that's mm, not no. a good idea. No. <laughs> no, and I, I made that pretty clear yeah. to the lady. I but that no. Park has a nice Asti Park nice. area. Yeah. Well, yeah, that part's not yeah. a big deal. No, I think they were going uh -huh. to like look for costumes or something. Yeah, I was thinking maybe they'd go down by the picnic tables for the. Yeah. yeah. Refreshments and, and so And she's forth. only going to have like three or four people. It's going to be oh. a small, oh, okay. not a mad crowd, last I heard. Um, and they they asked me to get hold of Bob for what people had in their, like, their school lunches. So I called Bob. Is this what you and I had in our school lunches? <laughs> um, so I've gotten back to her on that. <laughs> lunchables. <laughs> Lunch boxes. Yes, lunchables. No, no lunch. <laughs> sure. What? <laughs> yeah, and been invented when I was Yeah, maybe it's a little bit more homemade. <laughs> I went he home said for lunch. He said peanut butter sandwiches or ham sandwiches. He says just like kids do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now they get the count on rev they, track and they just punch the number in and walk through the line. They, um, she's going to try to maybe find some uh, lunch boxes. You remember our lunch boxes, those of us who. Is it just the three of us left here who would remember? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I have a lunchbox. <laughs> I still have a lunchbox. I know. <laughs> I have one at my desk right now. So, um, but who like can come? Who, who, the who can oh. come? I'm working, so I can't be there. I can't. Also working. I can't. So what did you say? Four to, four to six. Four to six. Oh, so no. it might be just Larry. He's the one that said yes, right? When is this? The 29th of September? <laughs> August. 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 Oh, oh, August. A week and a half from now. Yeah, the 29th is Tuesday? Wednesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure Larry will get back to us. They they would love to have Bob come. And she said some of those those, those older men that were up done and telling about the old days. So I've told Bob, and I, I'll, I'll let him know that he's he would be most welcome and maybe he see if we can drive do him that. down. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll, yeah. While I talk to him this morning, we'll okay. let him speak okay. to them. Okay. So. We might be okay. able to be there. Question mark. Okay. For part of the time anyway. Yeah. The inside the museum time. Yeah, so I would rest, think. I'm the, sure there'd be the part in the museum and then it, when she actually has a party down. Yeah. We might not need, need to be need there to for be that there. part. Well, we need to be there for some cake. Oh, <laughs> Wally wants cake and ice cream. <laughs> so they'll be there. Yeah. yeah, maybe we will be there. <laughs> no, I won't be down there at, the, at that party. At that party. <laughs> we might enjoy it. That's Can you good. bring us the update now? Do we want to close things and put no. recording? Or are we no, okay that could be another. Okay. We have no. Uh, like I said, I talked to Bob this morning just before I came down here. He's doing a lot better. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jane said he's uh, able to get out, uh, just get around enough. He's starting to wear her out. <laughs> he uh, He's no longer on oxygen during the day. He has a little at night when he goes to bed. He's still having problems as he's getting out doing things. He tires out very fast. Mm -hmm. So... You know, that, as far as him being into the museum for the birthday party, I, you know, that you would have to talk to him about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure where he's at. Yeah. But uh, he said that let people know that as soon as he can, he's going to be coming down here 
he really misses and he wants to be here. So yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I expect him, I don't know when, but sometime maybe soon. Is he good for driving? I, I can't answer that. Okay. I think Jane's doing all the driving, but mm. uh, as far as Denzel's concerned, Bob hasn't talked to anybody for a while, but what was that, a week ago? Oh, it was before we went to Nebraska yeah, Thursday. So, so that we more than almost two weeks ago. Yeah, we had gotten a call, or Karen had talked to uh, Denzel's grandson. Uh, at that time, he told her that they'd given Denzel one to three weeks. He's uh, he's not doing real well. He's sleeping a lot. Uh, I'm going to maybe try and call him this weekend. Uh, I guess apparently I might be able to get a hold of Betty. I don't know if I can get a hold of Denzel mm -hmm. or not. I think it was right after that that Larry sent out the message mm -hmm. for people to send him a card, mm -hmm. yeah. thinking of you. Yeah. So and that's I think the, we all did that. That's the yeah, that's, we should probably do another wave of those. Yeah, that's the latest we have on Denzel. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can, yeah, I think Jill had a good recommendation. Do another send another wave of cards for he and Betty. I mean. And when Denzel was here, I asked how Betty was, and he said, oh, she's getting very frail. So, you know, Betty's, Betty's up there, and she's bad yeah. lupus, and I don't know what all for yeah. years, so. It's a tough time. Thanks for the report. Any other new business? All is quiet. Does that mean? Does that mean someone needs to? I make a motion. Meeting be adjourned. <laughs> I'll second. <it>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Lindsay. Brian. Yeah. Maureen's got a question for you after. Oh, okay.